Hey guys, this is Vinay and welcome to the first video of the C++ programming in Linux. Apologies that this particular video is uh, more interested or motivated towards some theoretical concepts and uh, for the further videos and we will go with some practical stuff. So <laughs> this is a C++ programming video series or the Linux. I would like to introduce you about the basic concepts like uh, what is operating system, what is programming language and all. So okay, come on with this that uh, I'm going to uh, run our program for my computer. Okay, now what is computer? Computer is just a just a piece of hardware in which we can find the memories and uh, hard disk and all or the it's all the storing elements and all and uh, there is a uh, uh, CPU uh, that use uh, that do some logical tasks uh, by re reading the data from the memories and by it all and it's all the, the complicated stuff okay then now if I'm having a computer my hardware I need some software to run this hardware software is like a soul to the body I'm having a body it's having some soul which is software similarly I'm having a hardware as my computer and uh, operating system is as its soul now different bodies have different souls this is a similar a simple phenomena okay so a single body can have multiple operating system because it is made by the human this may be possible the split personality oh yeah it's a some sounds funny yeah so uh, there are a bunch of operating systems available in the market and uh, if I'm having the uh, some hardware on my computer I can install any kind of operating system so this video is motivated towards the Linux operating system so I'll talk to you about the operating system that will be a Linux operating system now I would like to uh, tell you that the uh, Linux operating system is not just Linux but it comes in various distributions. Linux could be Red Hat, it could be Mandrake, it could be Debian. And the common thing in all these kind of distribution is they share the same kernel that is, that is written, that is drawn, that is created by Linux Torvalds not only these uh, there are several more distribution but they are the most popular distributions that I'm talking about and as the development proceed in this particular scenario in this particular in this way so uh, the Red Hat is a Linux based operating system Remandrake is a Linux based operating system after that there are some more um, uh, branches from those so the popular operating system Fedora which is a Linux why it is Linux because it is Red Hat based it is a Red Hat based operating system similarly the CentOS community OS or something uh, like that similar uh, that doesn't matter uh, is a Red is also a Red Hat based operating system Mandrake offers some uh, modifications it becomes Mandriva by joining some other company taking it from some other and all now the Debian which is currently as per my understanding is ruling the world and as per the distro watch rating it is uh, uh, the Debian Linuxes are at the top so uh, the current operating system where I'm working this operating system this this where I'm working this this is Ubuntu operating system version 12.04 LTS it is a Debian based operating system and uh, the top Linux operating system as for the last week ranking Linux Mint is also a uh, Debian based operating system but currently I'm working over the Ubuntu operating system version 12.04 already mentioned so this is the operating system to deal with my computer hardware now it's a C++ programming tutorial it's Im also important to know about what is programming languages so it's uh, just a copied and pasted definition from Wikipedia. A programming language is an artificial language designed to communicate instructions to a machine, particularly a computer. That is my computer. Okay, so programming language is just like a language that we use in English. And my native, my mother tongue, Hindi. Okay, I got two persons, a computer and a human. Human knows 
English. Computer knows Hindi. Hindi a language? Hindi? Indians? In India, it's a common language. It's a national language. Okay. No, it's not a national language. Okay, go on. Hindi language. Now, a person who knows English only and don't know Hindi, if he wanted to convey his message to the person who understands Hindi only, so he need a translator, a third person. He would need a third person. So in this scenario, I am the one who knows C++, but the computer, the hardware who doesn't know C++, but it, know, it knows another language that is the machine language. Okay, then to convey my instructions to the computer, I need a translator to convert my language, that is the C++ language, into a language that is understandable by my machine, that is the machine language. And for this purpose, the translator, we need a compiler. There are several languages like Java, Python, Perl, C++, C itself. So, um, as we are focusing towards the C++, so we need a person, we need a translator who knows the C++ language and knows how to convert the C++ language into the machine level language. And for this purpose, I'm ha I'm, uh, I need the compiler. There are several compilers in the market uh, for the C++, that comes the Intel C++ compiler, the Borland's and uh, the very f uh, important compiler that is open source and we are going to use in our future tutorials and all is the GNU CG++ compiler that is used to compile the C++ code and that comes under the GCC that is the GNU compiler collections now it's also some definition that is retrieved from the official website of GCC GCC stands for the GNU compiler collection GCC is an integrated distribution of the compilers for the several major programming languages. These languages currently include C, C++, Objective-C, or for the iPhone development, Objective-C++, Java, Fortran, and uh, Ada, and another recently in use language, Go language. You can go with it. It's a finalized language. It's fast. It's too fast. Yeah. Now uh, you can find the official content over the GNU GCC.org. We can copy it, open the browser, okay, there's something, it's already open, no problem. Just copy and paste, press it, okay, this is the GCC, GNU Compiler Collection, the official website. From here, we can find our compiler, and uh, this would, this could be covered in the next tutorial, because it's uh, too much of the theory for today. So, thanks for watching, and we'll continue our series, uh, and uh, installing the GCC compiler, and uh, uh, on the, all the stuff of the programming in the next videos so don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching